Jobless, but I'm not really jobless because I can't even apply for any job. Nigeria is one hell of a country. Nigeria, Nigeria is jaga jaga. Nigeria is upside down. Nigeria has a lot of problems going on with it. And I'm happy because it has not changed anything. I have not lost faith in God. I still believe God. I, a friend of mine told me this is my blooming stage for my business. Really holding on to that because I've told God this is it, this is my trial time, this is my problem time, this is all of it, and I know He's going to bless me and He's going to replace all the lost past months with double fold. So it's more like I'm always at home, I really don't have anything I'm doing, I don't have anywhere I'm going. By the way, I'm looking for a menial job. At least, if you have one of four, one auntie that's looking for a PA or a special advisor, yay! I'm available, at least for the meantime, because it's not been easy. And I want to say, ever since I came back to Nigeria, my spiritual life has really gone down. I'm not happy about it. I try, I really try to like get home. Part of it, if you're my Snapchat, as I said before, you know why. You know why. My father's church is not use oriented. I don't want to call it my church. It's where I grew up, but at the moment, yeah, I don't know. It's a doctrine. I said, when we all have our ministry, like all churches have their, I don't know, I don't know the word, I've forgotten the word. It's more like their purpose. Some churches' purpose is faith, prosperity, and love. What do you call that thing? So winning, uh -huh. yeah, so winning. But the church is not in my path. And as I am, I'm still under my father's roof, so I can't dive out to any other church. So I have to practically do it. It's really not helping my spiritual life. And I've spoken to God. It's helping me. He's really helping me. Right now, I'm more of a Sunday Sunday medicine, and I spent six years of my life outside home, and I wasn't a Sunday Sunday medicine. More like midweek service, always remembering God. Even when I'm at home, I have friends I pray with, I have people I talk to. But at this moment, I don't have anybody around. And if you're also willing to help me, why not? Yeah, if you're willing to help me, why not? And most of my friends keep asking, How do you do it? How do you survive? To be sincere, I would have gotten depressed, but I just want to give a shout out to my twin brothers. Yes, Victor and Daniel. They've been the one giving me insane because I try to, I tend to sleep most of the time. Yes, I have added, I know that, and that's practically because I sleep all the time. I try to sleep 
most of the day. So when I sleep and I wake up, my brothers are probably back from school and then they disturb me. I do the assignment with them. And then before I know it, we come to see my parents and all of that. And then when night they are fed, <laughs> I join the Hallelujah channel as usual. And then I'm on my system, I'm on YouTube watching videos. And after that, I sleep. And I'm sleeping like around 5 in the morning. So I get to wake up like around 10, 11, 12. It depends on how many things you want. It's really not been good. It's really not been helpful. I would have really loved to go do the whole clinic house, but I'm sorry, I, I don't see it as. So right now, to me, it's of no use because the way everything is going, I don't know if I really want to tell you what this means. Because I've planned, I've made plans, I have plans, I've tried to move to the next step. But at the point, everything just gets confusing and I pause and I stop. I don't know if I should do this, I don't know if I should do that. I try to talk to God, but I really don't know. I don't know. I have my friends telling me, you can do this, you can do this. But at this point, I believe and um, I can't make decisions just on my own anymore. I have my parents to discuss my decisions with and they say yes, they say yes, they say no, they say no. So I really hope everything falls in place in due time. And I'm still believing that everything is working out for my good. All of this is not just going to play out just like that. So one year and um, it's really sad, but I've come to terms with the fact that Nigeria is not it at all. They should just sell the country. Somebody else should just come and do this. That's how I think Nigeria is not it at all. The system is whack. The system is corrupt. Everything in Nigeria is bad. If you don't know anybody, then you're wrong. So, after all, God, this is my legs. They will enter places, eh? They will never come out again. I know people in this situation. I have people that DM me to ask me how I do it. I don't know. I really don't know how. I will just say it's God. God has been keeping me insane. It is really depressing. I have not earned any money. I don't say salary. I have not earned. Okay, I have not earned any salary. That should be the best one. I have not earned any salary in the last one year. Yes, in the last one year. I have not earned any salary. Right now, I'm willing to work. I'm willing to see where I can pull my legs, how much I can get. Though it's not easy because the house I'm from, I'm not allowed to go out. I can't just jump out and go out. But pray to God to the heart of my parents so every time everything will be fine. So guys, I hope I was able to drop something. Nothing really, but I just had to talk about how life has been for me in the past months. And how life has really been it's really not been easy. I have friends, not really my friends. I'll call you my friends because you're my Snapchat. You're my friend. Ask me if they should come back to Nigeria. And I advise them not to come back to Nigeria. And I don't take my words back because Nigeria is not a country that will love you. Nigeria will drain you. Nigeria will drain every energy and knowledge you have. Everything is working good in my favor. And I believe so. And I believe that with time, I would have stepped out of this. And you know, God's got me. Got my back, you know. I'm at the top list of his priority. I know that. So, yes, for you all in my situation, it might not be up to a year. It might just be five months. It might just be seven months. Don't worry. Just stick on. Believe God. And I think we should all try to hope for the best. Nigeria is really not a good place, but let's still hope for the best. Okay, so guys, I hope I didn't leave that nothing do well to like share subscribe do well to drop your comments in the section below of how you feel about nigeria and the situation right now i don't know how i really feel about nigeria i just feel the country should be sold like the wife should come out with us because we are really not ready i'm the answer in general of africa for months so guys i will see you guys in my next video and i promise not to stay too long this time around thank you guys I'm the guy you never heard of. So, back it up and put it on a border.